Now, I know I've said this once, but I'll say it again. If you really and truly want to support the original six Star Wars films, the overall Star Wars movies are going to be re-releasing in theaters, starting off with The Phantom Menace on May 3rd. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So as earlier, we talked about how the Acolyte series has been going through a ton of backlash right off the bat from the majority of Star Wars fans, based on how the message is being pushed by those like Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland, and how they have made it openly clear that they want nothing to do with George Lucas's philosophy of Star Wars and how they want to rewrite history related to the prequel trilogy movies and that's just the tip of the iceberg that is just the beginning about what's going on here when it comes to Leslie Headland's agenda and Kathleen Kennedy's agenda with the Acolyte. Now say what you will about the trailer whether people loved it or hated it doesn't matter this is, of course, all Leslie Headland's strategy with this overall series is to essentially push whatever she wants to push in this show. Now, moving onwards, Kathleen Kennedy, of course, as you all know, has been going into a lot of damage control over at Lucasfilm, not just because of the Elon Musk and Gina Carano lawsuit that's been going on, but also due to the fact of all the cancellations by Bob Iger, all of the change of plans happening over at Lucasfilm, due to the fact that it's one of the most failed divisions over at the Walt Disney Company right now, at least when it comes to the Star Wars TV shows. Now specifically, one thing about all of this has to do with Kathleen Kennedy's overall stand against the fans after the Acolyte trailer drama and what's been going on with the marketing campaign with the Acolyte series. So with Kathleen Kennedy already heading into damage control over the recent backlash from fans over the Acolyte trailer, one major development that has to do with Kathleen Kennedy's stand against those speaking up against the Acolyte series, where she delivered the following. Well, I can say one thing that we truly accomplished with this new series is that it's our first all-female-led show that was finally created by women. Of course, we had Ahsoka, but never have we had a series that starred both women and were created by women. And I think that is something to truly celebrate. Already we are beginning to realize that some view this as some form of, a, of an agenda or something that we are doing deliberately to sort of alter what fans loved and grew up with and that is simply not true and something I think it's irresponsible for anyone to believe in and share that belief with others. I mean, look, we accomplished so much with the sequel movies and we are going to do it again with a new era that was never explored before with the Acolyte. Leslie was the only person who could have done this job so perfectly, and I think whatever premature criticism that she is getting is a living example of what we need to fix in this community. You just need to realize whatever criticism you typically get with fans, especially in this community, always falls into a minority. Our our sequel films were installments that made a great profit for both Lucasfilm and Disney, and that's a clear sign that we will succeed again with the Acolyte. We have many callbacks to the sequels in this series that I think are going to unite so many fans and really change this franchise for the better. Even though it's set in a time way before those films, we made sure to borrow elements from our filmmakers like JJ and Ryan. We already are planning out a second season and we hope to expand the High Republic era. Much like the other films we are working on with Daisy and Charmaine that will promote powerful female roles, I think the Acolyte is just the tip of everything here and it's going to create a new wave of fans that may have never seen Star Wars before. George Lucas's treatments with his films don't really matter anymore with this series. You can just go in and enjoy the story and we are also making sure to change aspects of the past and history set within this world to provide us with endless roads to explore with a multi-season plan. We not only have a diverse cast, but a diverse set of creators that worked on this thing. And that is the most important aspect about this series that goes above all else. It's about time and long overdue for powerful women to take both the big screen and at home on a streaming service like Disney Plus, for example. Now guys, let me just stop here before I move on. This is of course more nonsense for the marketing campaign of the Acolyte series. And I think it couldn't be any more clear that this show is nothing more than 
basically an agenda push with the Star Wars label slapped right over it. It's nothing different than what happened with numerous other releases under Lucasfilm by, of course, Disney ultimately. I mean, we all saw what happened with the Dial of Destiny under Kathleen Kennedy's wing. We all saw what happened with The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker, the Kenobi series of all things. I mean, how could you screw that up, right? And when you look at stuff like this, I mean, this really is going to be another disaster. I think that we all know it, they know it in the end, and that's exactly why they're getting so defensive over this series. So, moving onwards, alright, goes on to conclude, we really wanted to make this the darkest story ever told in Star Wars. Gee, like we haven't heard that before, right? They said that about The Last Jedi as well. We are looking back at the old books that George endorsed well over 20 years ago, and we found a great way to change those stories to fit our narrative with the Acolyte. It's just such a great story that holds elements of the sequels and aspects of the expanded universe that many fans like to call Legends. We really believe that Leslie is the future for this brand, and we look forward to working with her again, and many other times with different projects when we meet that point. We are all very confident in all of that. Again, I mean, Leslie Hedlund, another example of who they typically hire over at Lucasfilm. We all know who she used to be a personal assistant for, and it's just mind-boggling that Disney allows somebody like that to be hired over at Lucasfilm and Disney to handle a Star Wars project like this. Now again, we know that the Acolyte series, the trailer in and of itself, is getting ratioed to a degree that we have never seen before on the official Star Wars channel and other Star Wars channels. All right, other, I guess you could just say, channels that have uploaded the Acolyte trailer. And that is very revealing. That just goes to show you how much of a pushback this series is getting from the fans. And that's not a good sign at all. Now look, whether you love or hate the trailer, that's fine. Look at The Last Jedi, the trailers were great, the TV spots were great, and when you watch the movie, it was completely terrible. All right, I think the same exact scenario was happening here with the Acolyte, though I will say that the Acolyte trailer is worse than The Last Jedi's. It's not the worst thing in the world that we have seen before, I will admit that. But overall, I think that at the end of the day, Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Hedlund, once this series drops on June 4th with a two episode premiere, followed up by, of course, a series of other episodes throughout the summer, you're gonna see them really beginning to go into defense mode, pointing the finger at the fans, blaming the fans why the series failed, and if it's such a minority, right? If it's such a minority of fans that dislike whatever Kathleen and Leslie are pushing, then why would the series fail to begin with, right? That's another argument that people tend to love to bring up. You know, especially why the Kenobi series did not meet expectations. So overall, I would love to hear what you all have to say about the Acolyte trailer controversy and everything going on right now with Leslie Headland's push with her agenda in Star Wars. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.